So speaking of the Yanks, here's something brought to you by your Tri-State Cadillac dealers. Aaron Judge has officially become the guy nobody wants any part of. His league leading 41 home runs and 103 ribbies has pitchers saying, will pass. He has walked intentionally four times this weekend, including three times on Sunday. So, guys, you could tell when this is happening. Judge, the, bull, the dugout, they're all just annoyed at the fact that like, let the guy hit. Harp, what do you think the Yankees could do um, lineup-wise to make pitchers have to pitch? Yeah, them? Nikki, I mean, it's kind of obvious choice, but I would try to maybe flip-flop in Soto and Judge and put Judge, Soto behind him. I know We know Soto walks a lot, too, but if you get Soto out and you don't have to have anybody behind Judge except Stanton, who hasn't gotten hot yet, you know, you, you might be more willing to walk him. If he's in front of Soto and Stanton, who might get hot at some point, maybe you're going to be less uh, – a little more reluctant to walk him. So I would try Soto just to see how that looks and, uh, and maybe go from there. So I get toying with that idea. The problem is Soto and Judge in that 2-3, yeah. they've been it's so working. good yeah. all year. I can understand the apprehension from Aaron Boone and the Yankee Brass saying we don't want to mess with something that has clearly worked all year. I think it boils down to the guys hitting behind Aaron Judge have got to do the job. Do Austin yeah. Wells, hey, he's done a fantastic job in the cleanup spot. Stanton, I'm going to give him a pass since he's come off the IL because it normally takes him a couple of weeks to get going. No, this is, Nikki, this is par for the course with Stanton. He I misses know, time, but... he comes back, and his swing is just so weird and quirky and different that it takes him some time to get going. But you need those guys behind Aaron Judge to say, okay. Stan, Stan's the only one that scares pitchers. Well, oh, I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. But then hot, when you flip-flop those two, do you have the same dynamic? That's my only fear. Yeah. So to me, I'm looking at those other guys and saying, all right, time to step up. Yeah, I don't look at it. It's a good idea. Like, I, I like the thought behind flip-flopping the two, but these are the two best hitters in baseball right now. I don't want to do anything that could take them out of their routine, out of their rhythm, what's gotten them to this point uh, so far this season. I would just keep things the same. Austin Wells, since a 4-for-34 four four start it was, I believe, he's the best offensive catcher in baseball, and he's been doing the job behind Aaron Judge lately in the lineup. Until that changes, I don't want to mess with what's going right. The Yankees have started to catch some fire, and I I think two keys you look out for deepening the lineup for Dugo Volpe when the Yankees have gone well this year those two have hit when they haven't gone well those two haven't hit so if the other guys do the job no issue with the way things are right now JJ what about leading off a judge uh, I would lead off Soto Okay. Because Soto gets on base a ton right I mean yeah. that's one thing as far as like toying with the Yankee lineup I feel like they've wasted the leadoff spot. I know Verdugo's been yeah. decent over the last couple of weeks, but I almost feel like that leadoff spot has been an abyss for them all year. Where That's something I'd like to maybe, dare I say, see at some point. The idea Fine of saying, out. all right, let's not mess around. Soto one, judge two. That's how we're starting a ball game off.